Say you're considering living in downtown Sarasota. You're the kind of person that likes to be smack dab in the middle of it all, walking to downtown eateries, taking in the arts on a whim, and enjoying that Sarasota nightlife. And you want it all within mere minutes of your front door. Downtown Sarasota certainly has an abundance to offer and activities for everyone, but is living there what your dreams are made of? Stick around because we're going to take a trip downtown. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lindsay Ashley, Realtor with Keller Williams Realty Select. I live right here in the Sunshine State, helping buyers, sellers, and investors in all things real estate, while sharing my local expertise about all things Sarasota. I love sharing my knowledge of the area with future and current residents of this amazing city. If you enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss out. I love bringing you content that helps you explore this city of ours. When you think of a downtown setting, I'm sure cars honking, people walking, and an image of hustle and bustle comes to mind. And while that certainly can be the case, there is also more to Sarasota's downtown scene, which is positively thriving. One of the first choices you need to consider when wanting to live downtown is well, where are you going to live? If you want to be at the heart of it all, theaters, restaurants, coffee shops, lovely Bayfront Park, then you may want to take a look at the many downtown condominium options. These options allow you to take a nice Saturday morning stroll to the farmer's market, join in at a street party, or enjoy one of the numerous art festivals. Those who are interested in condo living will find more than 50 different condos from which to choose. With condos available in a variety of different prices, locations, and amenities, there is bound to be a condo to fit just about anyone's lifestyle and budget. Regardless of where you choose to purchase real estate in the downtown area, all of the city's attractions are always within just a short walking distance. Housing in downtown Sarasota, however, is more expensive than some of its neighborhoods close by. According to the New York Times, which I don't think it's too far off, it is difficult to find a new downtown condominium priced below $600,000, but some units needing to be rehabbed in older buildings along Gulfstream Avenue can be had for about $400,000. On the outskirts of downtown, you can find a lot more for a lot less. That is a big chunk of change for some. And if you prefer just a little breathing room, you may want to consider one of Sarasota's vintage neighborhoods that are minutes away from everything downtown Sarasota has to offer. You can check out Laurel Park, the Rosemary District, and Gillespie Park in my Sarasota's Walkable Neighborhoods. Video link is below. It's no secret that downtown Sarasota is experiencing growth. Lots and lots of growth. Cranes can be seen decorating the skyline along with more than 4,000 new apartments, condominiums, and hotel rooms. There's also nearly $500,000 square feet of new office, retail, and restaurant spaces popping up as well, which means more entertainment and activity selection. And with all the growth, it's no surprise that you may notice an increase in traffic you may be thinking of more cars on the road, which is true, so you may not get anywhere too quickly, but it also means more foot traffic. If you're not one for crowds, then this increase in traffic may not settle too well with you. But if you're one to go with the flow of traffic, that is, then you'll feel right at home. Craving an Italian lunchtime meetup with friends, or maybe you're looking for your next favorite brunch spot for Crex. From satisfying meat lovers to vegans, as well as everyone in between, there are many restaurants to choose from in downtown Sarasota. There is no doubt out that you're sure to find your next favorite grub spot. Every establishment brings its own personal flair to your dining experience. Check out Owen's Fish Camp where they prepare some of the area's best seafood served in rowdy old Florida shack. Owen's Fish Camp is an ode to old Florida living. From the looming banyan tree out front given to Sarasota developer Owen Burns by Thomas Edison to the tire swing out back, it is a restaurant full of history and southern hospitality. The casual atmosphere allows guests to relax and enjoy what makes Florida so special. The boisterous conversation is soundtrack by twangy folks standards from a live band in the backyard. Is elegance on the menu for tonight? Then be sure to visit Sage. Award-winning chef Christopher Cavelli brings upscale dining to downtown Sarasota. Combining seasonal ingredients with authentic flavors and cooking styles from around the world, Sage's menu changes frequently to keep it fresh and vibrant. Every dish is handmade incorporating the 
freshest ingredients available with the unique flavors and cooking styles of many different countries. Sage features a multi-level dining room with a vintage-style cocktail bar, 3,400 square feet of private event space, and a covered rooftop lounge with 360-degree views of downtown Sarasota. If you're looking for a health-focused, environmentally friendly dining experience, then look no further than Lila. The menu is seasonal and the inspiration for it comes from local farms and businesses. The concept of this restaurant is to offer food the way people like to eat, focusing on healthy, organic, vegetable-centric menu items, many of which are vegan and vegetarian. Their meat and fish items are grass-fed, sustainable, and wild with ingredients are of the highest quality. And these restaurants are just the tip of the iceberg with all that downtown Sarasota has to offer for foodies. Prefer chefing it up at home? You'll find everything you need at the Sarasota Farmer's Market. The Sarasota Farmer's Market is a true staple of the downtown culture. Located between Main Street and Lemon Avenue in downtown Sarasota, the Sarasota Farmer's Market is open rain or shine every Saturday between the hours of 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. Take the short walk to discover the products and services provided by local farmers, downtown businesses, and Sarasota artisans. You'll find fresh fruits and vegetables as well as handmade soaps, seafood, coffee, baked goods, bulk spices, orchids, and much, much more. Another popular reason for living downtown is to be close to Sarasota's amazing and abundant art scene. Sarasota is about all the arts being accurately dubbed Florida's cultural coast. There's the Van Weasel, Golden Apple, Players Theater, The Ringling, and the West Coast Black Theater Troupe. You'll also find the Florida Studio Theater, the Sarasota Opera, the Sarasota Ballet, and the Oslo Theater, just to name a few. Your options are endless for those elegant nights out. When you are wanting to have some daytime fun, but don't feel like hitting up the numerous beaches, you will find various events close to or within downtown Sarasota. There are boat shows, art shows, and car shows. Also, try to check out the Hardy Mill Festival, Seafood Festival, the Sarasota Film Festival, and many other events that run across town, sometimes literally running across town. With its rich culture, tropical charm, and historical significance, it is no wonder why a growing number of people are so interested in calling downtown Sarasota home. Everything you could ever want is right outside your front door and just a short walk away. So if you are the type of person who loves to be at the center of it at all, then downtown living may just be everything you could ever want. And if you'd love to explore this option, then I welcome you to reach out to me in the comments below. If you already live in downtown Sarasota, let me know what you love about it. That brings us to the end of our time together. As always, if you are wanting to get to the Gulf, I'm the realtor to get you there. Until I see you next time, bye-bye.